A professional artist from Carmel is offering her services to help grieving families. She's doing portraits of their loved ones who have passed due to the coronavirus. With TV's Dan Klein joins us live in Carmel. And Dan, this isn't easy for her either. Yeah, Sabrina Cho and her husband are both artists who rely on private art shows and private lessons, rather, to get through. But both have been basically unavailable during this pandemic. Still, she wants to use her talents to help others. The job of bringing someone to life, someone you've never met, it starts with the eyes. I will see the eyes. The eyes is very expressive. A relaxed pose a smile. I really like that smile on his face. And hopefully a story too. Jim Baker alongside his bride and high school sweetheart. But he passed away recently, a victim of the coronavirus. For me that I don't know, even know them, it's, it's very heartbreaking. Sabrina Cho doing what she can to help hearts heal. Some make face masks. Some donate money. Cho using her talents as an artist to help a grieving family. Hopefully make their family feel a little better going through this hard time. It's not easy. Her livelihood has dried up in the pandemic. And she's a mom of two kids. In fact, her studio shares the space with a gated play area for her two-year-old. But she's pledged to do 50 portraits to those who reach out. A color pastel like this one takes about four hours and would normally go for $260. She's doing each one for free. I just hope this portrait um, leave them a very sweet, nice memory of the past. The project is even more personal because she grew up in the province next to Wuhan, China, just about a five hour drive away. Her family is safe over there, but friends have suffered. So she works to bring those eyes, that smile, that person to life. As for when she's done, she just knows. It's not that Jim Baker looks like his photograph, it's that he's better than his picture. I hope it's better than the photograph. So, yeah, I'll call it done when I'm satisfied. Sabrina Cho's first portrait in this project was Paul Logan, the former athletics director at North Central. Jim Baker is her seventh. You can reach out to her through uh, email as well as her website. I've got that information posted right now on my Facebook page, and we'll have that in just a little bit on our website. Reporting live in Carmel, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.